my colorful friends, can you listen to me? I am using my webcam. Okay, guys, uh, you might listen to me with uh, some delay. Um, so I hope you are doing great. Um, we start this Monday or this week with an unboxing with this huge um, box. Olá, Maria Flor, bom dia. ver se mais pessoas uh, entram aqui no direto. Let's see if more people will join so I can start uh, unboxing this uh, box, huge box and uh, meanwhile I can show you uh, the finish, uh, the finish, oh my lord, the finish page that I uh, did uh, yesterday from our color along on Saturday vou mostrar agora uh, como é que ficou a página que colori no Flora que é esta como vocês podem ver eu já coloquei no Instagram uh, depois falta-me colocar nas outras redes sociais mas uh, o desenho ficou assim, eu apliquei o glitter, o glitter azul, no fundo preto. Um, eu espero que tenham gostado desta sugestão. Uh, this is the final result I did. I did apply on the background. Actually, I did all the background in black. Olá, Fabi, bem-vinda. Bom dia. Uh, and I applied uh, blue glitter blue. Uh, and it turned out like this. I hope you can see it. I actually like it very much. It was a little bit complicated to take a picture of it. I even did a, a short video to show uh, on Instagram, but... I think in person it's even better. Obrigada, Fabi. Era o que eu estava a dizer. Eu acho que eu prefiro. As fotos não ficam lá muito bem. A câmera também não sei se, se filma muito bem, mas eu adoro este efeito. Um, este efeito um, brilhante. É como se fosse noite e assim um céu, um céu azul escuro com as, com as estrelas lá ao fundo a brilhar. Mas sem pontos brancos, sem nada. Assim uma coisa muito mais simples. Porque o, o desenho em si é tão bonito. 
Eu não digo o meu colorido, mas o próprio desenho é tão bonito que eu não queria estar a estragar com muitas coisas. <risos> Eu gosto muito deste brilho. Uh... Depois, há aqui uma, uma página que eu também gostava muito de colorir. Reparem. Este livro é muito bonito. There is a page uh, that I, I, I want to color. This one. I love this one. I really love it. She is gorgeous. She's so cute. Uh, with the hat, the prey, 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 prey. Tão lindo esta. É que eu tinha que estar a fazer live hoje. Maria Flor <risos> não fazia ideia que há mais lives um... sim, é linda, é linda e, e do livro, do novo livro da Ana Carson, eu preciso de escolher uma, uma página, assim talvez uma assim, não sei, um, para colorirmos durante a semana. Se calhar escolho uma e pronto, uma que não seja muito difícil. I need to choose one of the one page from the new book of Anna Carson to color uh, with you during this week uh, perhaps nothing very very complicated but I really would like to this livro é muito bonito ok guys uh, I will go to the unboxing vou, vou abrir aqui uh, esta esta caixa, I have bought, uh, this is not uh, very good quality uh, art supply, I believe, uh, because uh, I bought it in a supermarket called Lidl, not doing any, any um, advertisement, but that's where I bought it, and actually it was my boyfriend that uh, made me buy it. <laughs> uh, he said that it might be a good idea to have it just because of the box, because it's a wooden box. Uh, so let's see. Sim, ainda não saiu, Fabi, mas acho que vai sair em breve na Amazon, eu acho. Uh, então, estava a dizer que. Uh, que vem aqui no, numa caixa de madeira. Uh, it has 174 piece, uh, uh, piece set, that's what it says. And by the way, I, have nev I haven't opened it, so I will open it with you. <laughs> that's true. Uh, so it says here a large selection of paints and pencils, 36 bright watercolor, acrylic and oil paints 130 high quality multi-colored felt tip pens and oil pastels included four brushes two pencils and accessories in a sturdy wooden case so uh, let's let's see here what we have so we have Probably acrylics or oils. I have no idea. I have never worked with the oil I está muito caro, sim, Fabi Pencils and uh, pens Então nós temos marcadores Temos lápis de cor Temos acrílico e temos... Uau! 
uh, tinta óleo. Here we have uh, the color chart, right? So color pencils, we have 34 colored pencils. We have 12 watercolors, 12 acrylic paints and oil paints. Then I am not sure why they did divide it. Ah, it's oil pastels, okay. This is oil paint and this is four, uh, 54 large uh, oil pastels. I will have to work with pastels. <laughs> Let me just turn because the image is a little bit uh, blue, bluish. Então temos 34 uh, lápis de cor, 12 aguarelas, 12 acrílicos, 12... Um, a óleo, tinta a óleo e depois temos os pastéis a óleo, 54 e, e temos 42 uh, 42 marcadores and 52 felt tipper pens and inside we have a, a eraser we have one sharpener two rounded paint brush nice, two pencils and two flat paint brush cool amazing because i don't have this actually well i have but i am not using because i'm not uh, not calling not painting uh, like that so let me um turn here uh this might be very very close to you but uh it says here in uh Artist paint, a large selection of paint, 36. This is what I read in a study wooden, uh, wooden case. Included, manual included, nice. Dimensions, approximately, approximately uh, 45 centimeters per 10 per 32. Okay, so as you can see, it's close. And I will uh, put my cutting tool, oops, to open it. Like this. And I believe I need to do the same on this side. Vocês estão a ouvir bem, estão a perceber? Eu estou a falar maioritariamente em inglês. Vou abrir aqui um, a caixa. It's heavy, guys. É bem pesada. Opa! Eu só me meto em sarilhos. But I have given one similar one to my mother. Oh, it's really beautiful. I think it is. Okay, it has here something too. Okay, I have no idea how am I going to take it off. But I suppose like this. Sim, é bem pesada. Ah. <risos> ah, que gira! It's so cute. Vocês não estão a ver nada agora, não é? Não. Vocês não devem estar a ver nada agora. What does it say? The water paints contain the preservative, uh, three iodo, well, okay. So this was um, protecting the corners and uh, that's nice because we can travel with it, but I wouldn't travel with this because, uh, because it's too heavy, but it's cool. So this is the brand, Crelando, it's the brand of uh, art materials in 
Central, seeing Eleven Lazaitis. Tá bonita. So I will we have here how to lock it to see. And then we open like this. Hmm. Okay, good. So let me put down because I am not sure how it will uh, come out. Ooh. Wow. What is this? Ah, it's carton. Carton? How do you say this? Paper, paperboard, whatever. Um, and it was protecting. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like a child. Let me see. Uh huh. This opens. How oh, can I open this like this? Ah, oh, it's really cool. Ooh. It's really cool. Do you see it? Crelando. Não faço ideia que marca é. Crelando é. Isto é uma rede de supermercados alemã. Um, mas que está espalhado por toda a Europa e, um, e eles de vez em quando têm estas caixas olha, eu vou vos dizer, a caixa não foi muito cara ela custou 35 euros the box was not at all expensive it only cost 35 euros but as I said this, this was uh, bought in a supermarket not uh, it's not really well they say artistic but i i doubt a little bit of the quality of the uh, the materials but we don't know we don't know because i have never tried uh-huh they have here some uh, tips <sighs> hi yvonne hello welcome Mm -hmm. So they say prick the paint to tap fill using the caps. Okay, now I get. Always wash your brush before apply a new color. Okay, it gives some tips. It's nice cross etching. Gives some tips as well how to paint. Different mixed colors can be create uh, can be created depending on the order in which the colors are layered. Okay, I think it's nice. The packing is made entirely of recyclable materials, which you may dispose of at local recycling facilities. Cool. So we see here the pencils. Uh, down here, I don't know if you can see, but there are the markers. Super cool. They are small. But a range of colors, this is really cool because I don't have markers at all. Vocês conhecem Ivona? Super em conta. Nem 250 reais. É verdade. É muito baratinha. E vem com tanta coisa que realmente. E a caixa? E a caixa é muito fixe. É muito legal, como vocês dizem aí no Brasil. <laughs> ok. And on this side, because it opens, oh my god, the, everything is shaking, and I don't have, uh, this is so big uh, that uh, there is no way to, to show you in a better way. So, uh, I open it, you can open, as you can see, here are acrylics, here is what? Uh, watercolors and here we have oil paints and down there we have oil pastels cool 
oil pastels then we have the eraser let me see the eraser mm, it smells so good uh, it's a normal normal white rubber eraser uh, I thought it would be like this one because that's what I prefer now but it is not sorry guys if I am not saying sim aqui ficam os pastéis aqui escondidinhos os, os, os pastéis a óleo temos as tintas a óleo temos acrílico e temos aguarela ou aquarela como vocês dizem por aí depois temos aqui os lápis que não estão afiados here are the pencils it's a 2b and a 4b and they are not um, they are not sharpened but i can do it and then what then we have the brushes here So I would go and I would pick one pencil, maybe, maybe this green. I will pick this. It has a number, but it doesn't say nothing else. I think this is Watts, but the quality is not good. <laughs> I think, I don't know. Guys, I cannot talk yet because I still don't know. But this is the series number and this is the number. Oh no, they all have the same number. So doesn't matter. Um, no names, only the colors. We will do a, um, a swatch maybe. Talvez façam um swatch. Muito provavelmente. Vocês querem ver eu a brincar com as cores? A experimentar? Ora bem. Sorry guys, uh, I'm back. Uh, and let's see here, the tip of it, it's not, it's, it's big. And there is no name of, it, of the color. I have uh, showed you the oil pastel and they come out. Um, but of course that you can replace then with your favorite uh, um, art supplies if you want the box. Vocês podem sempre ir, que cheirinho! Ah, uh, pastel! The oil here. Color oil. Germany it says that it comes from Germany and it has a name 
white number one and they are all the same like acrylics and everything like for example this is acrylic and it has the name scarlet red okay and then watercolor watercolor uh, ultramarine blue so the paints they have the names but the pencils don't have neither the felt pens neither uh, the oil pastel so maybe I will sharpen I will use the sharpener I will put here actually because there's not so many so much space left okay, aquarela or is it that in the tem as duas tem em aquarela e tem em acrílico e tem também em óleo então vou afiar o lápis ou adoçar ou como você apontar o lápis Sharpening the pencil. Aha, uh -huh, nice. Not yet. <laughs> Here it goes. Oops. One is sharpened. As you can see it's to be mm, this smell like smells like school materials when we were kids <laughs> hi Katrina welcome I open already the box este lápis é o 4B this pencil is 4B not good as you can see <laughs> okay I will leave it inside and well I'm dirty already with the gra graphite and as you can see this is number 4B here like this mm. I'm already tired so guys this is the box uh, it's very nice and maybe you can remove it I am not sure but uh, just to make a comparison um, with uh, one uh, of Faber Castell, as you can see, a polychromal, or maybe you wouldn't, you were not seeing. So they are kind of imitating it. <laughs> Let me see one that I haven't used much. I oops, I am not sure. But uh, well, this line here, this ring, it's uh, silver, and on Faber Castell is gold. Uh, and of course, you can see the quality of the. Um, of the wood on polychromos are really great really good good quality and as you can see it's a little bit narrow than the polychromos yeah 
eu esta semana estou de férias, sim. Uh, estou de férias uh, obrigatórias por causa da, do corona, do vírus corona. Uh, vou experimentar os lápis, mas para isso eu vou ter que fazer 5 uh, minutinhos de pausa. Este live stream não vai abaixo em princípio. Uh, vou fazer que é para mudar aqui uh, ao. Uh, vou tentar. Vou ter que fechar e vou fazer um swipe up. Um swipe up não, desculpem. Já estou aqui perdida no mundo. Uh, vou fazer. Um, então, let's see how it closes, right? It closes like this. I, they don't come out. Wow, amazing. That's really great. And we close, and then we can go to the nature and paint. Sim, fisicamente são parecidos, mas olhem, eu acho que estes lápis não são grande coisa. Uh, acho que a qualidade não é, obviamente, igual à, à, à Faber-Castell, nem pouco mais ou menos, e muito menos, uh, e da Prismacolor também acho que não é parecido. Não sei, em relação aos Arteza, porque eu não tenho nenhum Arteza, Uh, mas eu já vos mostro como é que eles uh, funcionam, está bem? Agora, vou ter que aproximar é um bocado a câmera, que é para a gente fazer, então, uh, ver como é que os, os lápis uh, trabalham, certo? I will close uh, the box well, I will be doing a, a, a color chart for most of the things that we have here just to try out um, I will be on a break for five minutes so I can um, so I can set up the camera in a lower in a lower view um, but I will be trying these lovelies with you okay So stay there, st uh, stay with me, and uh, I will come back really soon. Eu volto já já a seguir, tá bem? Obrigada.
espero que vocês me vejam. Eu não vou experimentar o lápis branco. Deixa-me lá ver. Isto de estar a trabalhar com a, a, a webcam não é tão fácil. Este aqui, este parece um salmão. Esta cor é um salmão. E por que está tão escurinho? Eu vou ver. Então, vou mostrar aqui. Ah. <risos> ok, gente. Já não estou a gostar. Vou experimentar no outro pa papel a ver se, se por acaso. Well, for someone that is used to to good quality pencils, I would say immediately that I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like them, but let's try this next color, which is a yellow. Um, a range of yellows this yellow is like a canary yellow or this one is more like canary yellow I'm not sure well, some colors shows better I would say Seria o que tem? Sim, uh, eles, são, eles são cremosos. They are creamy. I would uh, not say that they are not. They are creamy. Uh, but I need to put a little bit of pressure on it to, to calm the pigment. Tenho que aplicar alguma, uh, alguma força, alguma pressão, não sei, uh, no lápis para a cor se sobressair, portanto, iria ficar com dor de mãozinha, não é? Isto aqui é um marrom, parece. Um, laranja, orange, uh, you can see that this orange it's more vibrant. Vocês podem ver que este laranja aí é mais vibrante. Oops, sorry. Ia cá ficar. Uh... Larry. Ai, que esta câmera é tão chata. <laughs>
pinça e eu colocar algo mais branco. Mas eu não sei porquê. Deixem-me ver aqui a luz. Aqui a janela se fica melhor. Ok. Uh, I will apply this pink, vou aplicar aqui este cor de rosa, algumas cores que são mais uh, interessantes, mais pigmentadas do que outras. There are some colors that are more pigment than, ui, than others, no, I said than others, it isn't, it isn't. This is another pink. Yes, but I don't like. Uh, I, to be honest, I don't like the pencils. I won't work with them. Or maybe it's the paper, so that's why I'm trying. This is a watercolor paper, and this is like most more mixed media, maybe. It's a little bit better on mixed media than here. So perhaps I picked the wrong paper, not sure about it. Ah, que bonito! This is like a, a purple, a lilac or something like that, a lavender, maybe. Vocês vão me dizendo se, se a imagem está melhor ou não. Caso contrário, eu entro com o meu telemóvel e está feito. There are many pinks in this set. Many, many pinks. Menos mal, obrigada, Toby. Uh, Now, browns, os marrons ou os castanhos. Mais um cor de rosa. One more pink or, you know, that range of color. This is a dark brown. I would say that for coloring pens, uh, coloring pencils, coloring books, I think this is cool. I would recommend, recommend. Maybe I will give away these pencils. Talvez até ofereça estes lápis. vocês portarem bem <risos> estou a brincar <risos> olha aqui um aquamarine olha este é bonito this one is nice I'm, I'm doing actually a lot of pressure and they are not breaking until now estou a aplicar assim alguma força e até agora não não partiu a ponta, por isso não está muito mal. Deixa-me tirar este papel, senão confundo. So we are on green. Uh, actually, I think now the range of the, uh, the pigments are better than the in most of the, the others, the, the previous ones. So this range of, of green are cool for Joana Basford uh, books with their leaves and so. Aqui mais um verde, portanto. I am enjoying more. 
this range of colors blue now it will come some blues and violet i i am sorry i just oh, hit my the camera a sua cor favorita é o verde rabi a minha é o azul é agora Ah, eu gosto muito deste. Uh -huh. These are the lilac, lilacs and purples. The last purple, wow, this this is very pigmented. Este aqui é bem, bem pigmentado. Uh, rosy beige, I would say. A clay rose or something like that. But it's brown. It's brown. It's a different brown. Like a sub cream. Olha, este também é giro. É bonito. Vocês sabem que giro é bonito em português. Ou não? Em português, Portugal, claro. Um cinzento. This is grey. A little bit like a 90% cool grey. I would say, or a little bit more warm. I don't know. They are a little bit mixed. Os dois, todos, meus preferidos, sim. <laughs> Também gosto de todas as cores. Agora cada vez mais, não é? Porque quando nós começamos a, a colorir, começamos a gostar ainda mais das cores todas. E o preto, uau! The black. It's black. I will do some effort here. So, and uh, if we would blend, but for blending, I think I will use this paper here. I will blend some colors, like for example, yellow, orange, uh, orange, And um, red. Vou mesclar agora aqui, misturar aqui estas cores. Portanto, vou usar o amarelo. Hum, agora tenho que continuar nesta direção, não é? O amarelo. Espero que vocês consigam ver, na verdade. Se não conseguirem ver, é que é mal. Uh, o cor de laranja e o vermelho e agora vou na outra direção vou com o amarelo say they blend quite fine can you see so you 
eu já mostrei, eu mostrei no início do vídeo, Fabi, como é que ficou a ilustração. E também já, uh, já partilhei no Instagram. Mas veja no vídeo, talvez veja melhor, não sei. Como eu estou a usar a webcam, nunca se sabe. So, as you can see, this is how they blend. I think they actually blend quite okay. I'm adding here some strand. Can you see? Eu fiz o fundo, uh, não, eu fiz metade no direto, comecei a colorir o fundo em preto, mas depois terminei no dia a seguir e está nas minhas histórias, nas stories do Instagram, estão gravadas nos, uh, nos highlights, nos destaques. Uh, e chama-se coloring estou a ver aqui como eles mesclaram bem até até não está muito mal pois não uh, it uh, blends well I, I really think it's because of the paper so I will try the same colors but on this watercolor paint, uh, paper And as you can see, uh, the yellow doesn't apply very well on this paper. And now, orange. And red. Well, you need to apply some layers and make some pressure. Then you you would, uh, but I think this is for beginners. It's really good and having considering uh, how much we paid for the box, I think it's fine. Yep. Eu, uh, eu concordo com você, Fabi. Acho que, que mesclam muito bem. Misturam-se muito bem. Aqui os lápis. Aqui estão os lapisinhos maravilhosos. E agora passamos para os marcadores. Certo? Vamos passar para os marcadores. Vou é ter que abrir aqui a caixa. Para não fazer mais neira uhum. então os marcadores temos vários amarelos we have several yellows here it's already dirty The they Uh, as you can see, this black dirt the paper. We should have uh, more careful with that. Wow! I like it because I don't have any markers. <laughs> Mais um. Uh, very similar. Very similar yellows. I have no idea if they are alcohol based. No, but they are. Let me smell it. Mm -mm. Doesn't smell nothing, which is good. Uh, these two colors are very similar, and these two colors are also similar. 
but for my dot to dot do you remember that uh, book it would be good to do it not sure if in the in the other paper will be nice but let's see but as you can see the colors doesn't really match with the the colors on the on the pen doesn't match with the paper Linda, tu tirei a foto. Ah, sim, olha, também gostei muito dessa sereia. Vou me inspirar nela, viu? Aqui marca no, no Sage Carol. É uma ilustração da Ana. Ok. É verdade, ficou muito linda a sereia. Adorei também. So, this is like a. As you can see, the colors doesn't match with the color on the pen another orange and now we go we start pink colors I like these markers. I am looking forward to see if they will blend quite okay or not. Uh, I forgot to do a comparison with the white pencils. Wow, I like this one. It's very cute. Oh my god, there are many, many markers, guys. Red. Oops. Where did it go? Another red, but it's very similar with the previous one. another red they are quite this one is like a scarlet red and these ones are a little bit darker but even though can't see another color that doesn't really match with the with the color in the pen Browns. This is another different color. Dark brown. Sorry, I'm shaking all over because I need to pick the colors. Ah, I like this one. So beautiful. This one is very beautiful. So now we start the range of greens. Let's see if Maybe it's a little bit boring for you. Okay. 
very nice cream. For the thousand leaves that we have to paint. Tem aqui um grande conjunto de verdes, rosas, azuis, pens than the pencils it's a a bluish green or something oh what the heck do I like it purple Tone. and we have one more even darker cute I like they are very very pigmented I like the markers so far guys no Yvonne doesn't match in some of them it doesn't match and some of them are really uh, even uh, completely different. Grays. The grays are matching now. The pinks and... Uh, I will show you one that doesn't match. And black let's see if uh, it didn't go but this is a watercolor paper so maybe because of that it didn't click through um, now let's do the test of blending uh, maybe I will use the same colors as a uh, yellow yellow orange need to check which orange is let's see uh, for example this yellow doesn't match with this color happened Katrina because I don't understand why you laugh <laughs> did I say something maybe because this is on delay and uh, I just listen after and I will pick uh, a red where is it this is the red yeah so yellow I will start with red orange and yellow oops ah, they are quite quite nice they are blended quite nice as well I'm surprised I'm going to put a, a lighter yellow here Of course, the paper is ripped off, ripping off, but...
and white of prisma color love As you can see, they work just fine. Uh, and as you can see, the white from this set, it's very light comparing to uh, polychromos, poly and prismas. This is Crelando. Can you spot the difference? Ok, Fabi, obrigada pela uh, sua companhia. Muito obrigada. Vemo-nos no outro dia. Beijinhos e um bom dia para você. Ok. Now, ah, and I can try here in this paper the oil. Oh, not good. I would expect a uh, oil pastel very white. And it looks like uh, the pencil, so not not good at all. Or I didn't try white. Yeah, I try white. This is white, right? Yeah. No, not that I like. But as I have never tried oil pastels in my life, I have no idea. So I'm going to to try the other colors. I hope you can see, guys. Tem de almoçar para ir trabalhar. Ok, bom almoço e bom trabalho, Fabi. Vemo-nos mais logo. Beijinhos e obrigada pela sua companhia. Sempre obrigada por, pela vossa companhia de todos. Agora aqui os pastéis. Oil pastel. If you ever tried a very light yellow, mm, I like this yellow because it's pigmented. Here's another one. Who ever tried pastel, uh, um, oil pastels? Quem é que já experimentou oil pastel? O pastel é óleo. Meu Deus, eu estou a trocar tudo. <risos> Deixa lá ver este. Ah, mais clarinho um bocadinho. I will probably try to draw something with oil pastel. Ooh, this uh, pink. You can't almost see it on the paper, so not good at all. And they are uh, coming out. Oh my God. Looking off. Let's see this pink. Okay, so in case I would need to use a pink, I know that it might be the second one. So we have another orange after the pink. And we have here like a salmon or so. Well, there are several. Let's try here this magenta. And then we have reds. Ah, que bonito. It's cute. the smell of it it reminds me my childhood like these crayons and now the greens we start greens I like the range of colors uh, so far um, so far so good uh, well the first colors they are very light but
yes, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> you have tried mushroom and cress like the normal dry pastels much better. Uh, no, they are not water soluble. Neither do the other ones that I did. Uh, they they are not. These ones are not like nail nail colors. If you, but nail colors are wax based, not oil. I've never tried oil, but I think they are a little bit more complicated to use even how to blend and so but i will try in the end of swatching all of them i will try to do to blend oops one went away where is it Most likely all the colors and uh, it's a mess already in my table but it's not like the soft pastels because I love I like the mess of the soft pastels because you easily can clean it but here uh, or else it will stick all over the place so I don't like it I don't like very much so we go back to light colors light pastel colors or so but there are some beautiful colors I would say don't you think here I'm having problems get the colors that I want if I could remove the tray it would be great so let's see A light blue oh it it catched a little bit of uh, of green there <laughs> so I will move a, a little bit further yeah it's messy oil pastels are, are messy more than my soft pastels To do this live streaming, I'm already sweating. <laughs> ah, this this blue is very beautiful. But uh, uh, by the way, I don't use um, oil pastels. But there is a there is a YouTuber, uh, artist YouTuber, that uh, she works with uh, uh, oil pastels, and they are incredible. She is incredible. How how she works with with them? It's really amazing. So this is a like a green after all these no not green that that kind of bluish green or something and then we have uh, like a lavender ouch i'm hurting myself already 
in the end I will show you again the box for the ones that uh, uh, weren't here in the beginning so what, what I was saying that youtuber makes really lovely uh, images uh, paintings with the uh, with soft with uh, oil pastel i i love watching her videos uh here we have another blue after these uh, lilacs and then uh we have brown <laughs> so we have it i'm sweating already by showing you all these Oh, this terracotta. This color we didn't see in the previous ones, neither on uh, colored pencils, neither on markers. And I have oil already under my <laughs> under my skin, like the song. No. Uh, under my nails <laughs> I uh, have all over I'm doing such a mess guys this is a nice color maybe I will use this to do some landscape or I don't know you can, I don't know not for uh, I, I wouldn't uh, use oil pastels on coloring books no way because it would be like a mess like you are seeing now on my table is already a mess so i wouldn't use at all oil pastels on coloring books that is for sure um, but if you use it for, I don't know, for a drawing, if you get some inspiration, you can do it. I will read soon the chat, just a second, because these are the last three colors, the gray and then black. Let's see how this black, black is black. So these are the colors many colors many like the markers there are many oil pastels like many many markers okay and now i would do some blending blending some uh, oh my god i was washing today the floor and everything and now i need to do it again <laughs> okay so I will pick one yellow, I would pick perhaps this yellow, which is not uh, very high, and then some, uh, this, this orange, I believe it's this orange, and then I will pick the next one, and I want red which i believe it's this one if i didn't mix it incorrectly or if i didn't put it in a different order okay so let me think i, I think i call uh, that bluish green that's right the teal green that's right mate thank you so much estou seguindo no instagram agora andreia show e vou ter de sair agora fazer um almoço ok obrigada maria flor não sabia que você também tinha instagram Bem-vinda então ao meu Instagram e beijinhos, bom almoço e vemo-nos em breve. Obrigada, adeus. And they are sticky, so the pages would stick together. Exactly, mate. That's why we sh I wouldn't, 
I don't recommend to use oil pastels on the coloring pencils, no way. Uh, and uh, even on, um, in a, um, how do you say? Uh, in a painting, you would have to store it uh, very carefully. But the reality is that I think even the, the pencils, the, um, the markers, and now I can see that the uh, oil pastels are going to blend really good. So I'm going here with the darkest. Then the lighter orange would be here, a little bit more of orange, and the yellow. Okay, and perhaps with some paper that I would have here, I would go. Try. Well, perhaps there are some dust from the previous colors that I was putting on. I don't know, I'm just trying to, to do something here to blend. But I think they blend well. I just don't know how to work with, <laughs> with oil, oil pastel but I really think they blend fine if I would know how to work with them. <laughs> oh my god, this is a disaster. Look at this paper. No, I shouldn't have done this. Whoops. And now how am I going to clean my table? Gosh, it's going to be completely dirty. But as you can see, okay, let's show uh this was uh the um, pencils and the markers i'm very satisfied with the markers actually uh because they actually blend i would have to test it in a normal paper like a joanna basford a book that's a good idea uh but i would have to clean this mess first uh, to put you my uh, uh, my book because I don't want to put my book here on this is very dirty you won't see it but To be honest, I am not going to work with oil pastels, definitely. <laughs> okay, I said I will try, so I will try. But these oil pastels are very messy. Probably good quality oil pastels wouldn't make this mess. But I will pick an old book of Joanna Basford for now. The markers and to see if they bleed through. Um, ah, this one doesn't have a taste a testing. Okay, but it doesn't matter. I will just color. Uh, we'll pick here. 
this blue and color. Let's see. Color? No. Wait. Oh, they don't bleed through. At least on this paper, they don't bleed through. Which paper should I try? Do you remember if there is any other book that has this? not for you as well not at all let's see here on this maybe here oops uh, which color uh, let me pick a pink they rip off uh, the paper so where I apply this red it's it's almost bleeding through but if you apply only uh, a light layer of marker I think we would be safe well yeah testing is
okay my good tip good tip that is a really good tip uh, to let it dry didn't know about it I am more using uh, pencils color pencils and uh, and soft pastels <laughs> so uh, these are the pencils as you can see here on top here we have the markers down here but uh, you cannot see it maybe um, I can see under there they, there are two rows of markers down here uh, then we have on this side um, the oil pastels two rows of oil pastels and then we have here uh, acrylics and and what else oil oil paint and watercolor paint um, This is actually oil, um, watercolor, uh, watercolor. So I would try actually to experiment. What is missing? and I will use it exactly here on top and everything. <laughs> so I will do a mixing uh, like I did. Uh, I'm not very good into uh, watercolor, but as we have May, which is a pro <laughs> on watercolor already. Oh, oh, it's coming out. Okay, a little bit of yellow. I will do some blending. I have here some papers, toilet paper that I would need to put on top. Uh, what else? Uh, so we were using. Um, oh no, I need to open it. Oh, not to watch it there. <laughs> no, these are. You know, my. Do you have Lidl supermarket there? Because I bought this book in Lidl and it costed only. Uh, 35 euros the box that's why I bought it so I'm just opening they are totally new and uh, and they have the color name on the paints they have the color name but on the pencils they don't have neither on the rest so I will just just a little bit as you can see This is supposed to be a watercolor, but if I would try in another paper, uh, now, now I will try on this paper. And I have my brush pen somewhere here. Uh, not sure where. Ah, here it is. So, just going to work a little bit. And I'm not a pro in watercolor, just been playing with them for three years now. Yeah, I know, I know. But you are better than me. <laughs> you do amazing. So this is, I am applying here some water. So for example, I don't even know if it's possible to uh, blend these colors like I did. I, I suppose yes.
Okay, so I I am going to try. <laughs> Maybe yes. So I will try here with this yellow. Mm, it's pigmented. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you saw my. flower that I did, uh, that carnation, it was with uh, watercolors and it was from little watercolors. This is how it looks like in this paper that I first had. So this has a little bit more texture. looks like this not bad yet I would say we could work around and of course we can apply more or not uh, I can try acrylics the same colors Is it possible to blend acrylics? <laughs> uh, this doesn't have actually... Um, this is a yellow ochre. It's not um, really orange, but I will try. Oops. And some put my finger there, that's why it went out. I'm a disaster doing this kind of de demonstrations. <laughs> and thank you for your thumbs up, guys. Thank you. Even though this was a little bit messy, but I wanted to show you. <sighs> I would need my mother now. She is the one that works with the creeps. Uh, it has a lot of water. So this is acrylics, 
maybe because they'll be the people who work with me. And I will try oils. Never tried ever. I don't even know if they mix or not. This is yellow. At least you are listening me, Rosie, <laughs> because I set up. That's the only good thing. But uh, using the webcam recalls me. And red. Uh, this is scarlet red. Spot is safe. Watercolor has pink, and the others don't have pink, actually, now I realize it. As you can see here, pink, but on the rest, there is no pink. So we would have to do the pink with some, uh, some white. They are oiling. I think I will never use oil <laughs> in my life. Mm, now I will need to know how can I save this brush pen. Guys, that's it. Well, I tried. Um, acrylics. Let me put back. So this is a watercolor, acrylic, and oil. The colors are nice. I like it, but you know, I I I wouldn't work with it. With oils. So putting away all the things and I hope you enjoy this and watching. Uh, this is how it looks like the box. I will close it and hopefully they will not fall. No. And we close it like this. And it's ready to move on and go for a trip. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for being there um, and to make me company. And I hope you like it. That this uh, super unboxing and swatching up and knowing a little bit uh, of what uh, we I found in a supermarket for 35 euros um, 
and uh, if you see it around it and if you like it you also can try even just because of the box because the box it's nice <laughs> so thank you so much guys and uh, do never forget that you are the best i will see you around bye bye